Welcome to Nyatapura Temple. It's actually the biggest temple in the whole of Nepal. Actually, one of my favorite ones so far. I'd rate these momos a good 8.5 out of 10. Nice, good job. Hey, I'm Kieran, and this is my better half, Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go traveling full time. This is our Nepal series. So today we are heading 12 kilometers east from the city of Kathmandu to the oldest and smallest city in Nepal, Bhaktapur, known locally as Kwapa. We will be taking the local bus and it should take us about an hour to get there. This is why our English. He said no. He said no. One second. I always say that. English, English. Where is this bus going to? No, where is it going to? Back to me. Definitely? Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, definitely. Because everyone How much has is told it? us. Sorry? How much is it? Katiho? Katiho. One bus. How much? We just got on the bus, that was a bit of a crazy experience. We were looking for the bus and then suddenly all of these people started coming at us and we're like, yeah, 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 this bus, this bus, and they just literally were dragging into their bus. Um, but yeah, they're on the bus and so hopefully we'll make it there. Yeah, they were all saying we're heading to Bhaktapur and it was like every bus was going, so it's almost like who to believe, but I think we're on the right ones. We've made it to back to port. It's very different to Kathmandu. It's a lot more peaceful, no traffic, a lot less people and a lot more tourists. Yeah, it's mostly tourists inside and like Maddie said, there's no cars, no vehicles at, at all, so it's a lot quieter. But we were just speaking to a local and he actually said in 2015, some of the architecture here was destroyed. So it's been reconstructed, which is amazing really to see actually how it looks. So we are currently in the Durbar Square. An interesting fact, there is more temples here per square foot than in Kathmandu. And it's also the most densely populated city in Nepal. Welcome to Nyatapura Temple. It's actually the biggest temple in the whole of Nepal. It was constructed in 1701 and it took six months to make. And it is so impressive, it's got five tiers. So although there's not so many steps coming to the top of the temple, they're incredibly steep, so it's quite a workout getting up here. But now that we're at the top, the views are so impressive. And I guess we can officially say we're now sitting on the tallest temple in Nepal. So we've just came to this super cool restaurant directly opposite the Nyatapola temple, and it is amazing. You have open views straight out looking outside towards the temple. The views are so cool. So Maddie, do you want to show the viewers the authentic Nepalese dish you've got? I've got French fries. I mean, they're not really French fries, they're like chunky chips. But it's really good. Out of ten? Ten. And you are a potato expert, so they must be good. Chicken momos. Now, I've had the, which momos did I have? Had the garlic and cheese ones, which I don't think are so traditional. Maybe they're slightly touristy, but these, I uh, spoke to a few locals and they say that they're one of their favorites. So the chicken momos, I'm gonna give it a try. Now I do actually prefer the fried ones. These here are the steamed ones, but I think again, they're more traditional. This is my favorite sauce as well. Do you know what sauce is it? No, but let me know in the comments because Whatever it is, it's really good. Mm, that's really nice. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Actually, one of my favorite ones so far. I'd rate these momos a good 8.5 out of 10. So we have came to the Pottery Square here in Batakpura and it's so beautiful and you can actually buy a little gifts for super cheap prices, like as little as 50 rupees.
How did she do? Good or bad? Good. <laughs> so how long would he um, do this per day? He will do this 10, day, 10 hours per day. 10 hours per day? Yeah, uh, sometimes he's going to more orders. Yeah. Then we will work more hours. And hour if he, if he do, so if he does 10 hours per day, how many of these would he make? Do you know approximately? Uh, approximately, the no, it's like uh, very tiny, 500 pieces. 500? Yeah, one, yeah. Wow. wow. That's and how long does it take to dry? Because it's normally a dry to uh, two, hours. two hours. Two hours. Oh, wow. So we have came to dip in donuts, and you won't believe it, we're actually trying donuts. So Maddie is up first. So I've gone for the chocolate peanut donut. Well, we're actually sharing. Mm. I don't want to share. So I've just about wrestled the donut off Maddie and now it's my turn. Mm. Really soft donut. I like that. It's warm as well. Very chocolatey. And that's well, I mean, a chocolate donut. So that is it for Back to Poor, guys. It was a really nice experience. I'm really glad we came actually because I'm normally the sort of person who says no to a temple because we've seen that many. But they were really unique, like the architecture, uh, the detail in the designs were just incredible. So it was really worth visiting. And also, like the streets with all the shops. Uh, the stores, the restaurants, cafes. It was a really nice experience for me. Yeah, it was really nice. It's only a short drive from Kathmandu. For public transport, it's about an hour. If you want to get a taxi, you can get here in as little as 30 minutes. So yeah, it's really, really nice. Definitely worth visiting. It does cost to get in. Um, it costs $30 for both of us, so $15 each. But yeah, for us, it was definitely worth it. Yeah, so make sure you are subscribed, guys, because we've still got plenty to come from Nepal. So we'll see you in the next one. Three, two, one. Namaste for now. Yeah.